Make yourself at home. What the hell's all these people doing? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> and I, I was just asking the same thing. This, this happens every day, Toby. Toby. You're doing in my room. Yeah. <laughs> this happens every day to us. Uh, how late were you out last night, man? You're still wearing shades this morning. Oh, you see, I'll... Uh, am I here? Do I need this? I don't need this. You don't this, need though. those, right. no. I, uh, we got in. I left my house. Uh, we jumped on the jet about 10-ish sometime and got here about midnight. We got over to our hotel, and they said... Uh, we're sold out that they don't do late check-ins. They don't, they're not used to people checking in at midnight. So. In Chicago? Yeah. And so uh, we had to go to another hotel. By the time we got in a room, it was 2.30. That's probably the West Wind Motel out in West Chicago. You guys got to stay, like, down here at some of these big hotels, you I was, know? No, it was a Motel 6 <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Toby's got to save some money, you know, that economic <laughs> downturn's killing us all. It was Motel 6 <laughs> over there on uh, Michigan. Oh, okay. Here. Hang on a second. Uh... Volumes under under there. Okay. Let me get that. He's, he's cranking up his headphones Wire so he can down hear you. There. Okay. Easy now. <laughs> hey, I'll crank it up for him. <laughs> hey, for once in the for once today, I won't be the the bad guy in the studio. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so say hi to Toby. Hi, Toby. Good morning. Hi, my name is Sue. I'm a Chicago police officer. Beautiful. And I've been to every one of your concerts. Where's and I just wanted to thank you very much for always acknowledging us at the end of your concerts. All right. It really is uh, an emotional thing for us at the end that you acknowledge us because a lot of times we're bad mouth. What is it you want to be remembered for? Because quite frankly, when you go over and you do seven USO tours and 118 shows, th there's a certain amount of risk involved. I'm sure Trish isn't, you know, all that happy about you heading over there all the time. You but know the first uh, couple times I went, the first couple years I went, I called in like twice a day and told her, told my family where I was and everything. But uh, I didn't go to the zones I go to now the first two years, but you get such a respect for the ability. When you see, and though when I say this, losing one soldier is way too many, but even the number of soldiers that we've lost in any conflicts uh, that we've been in, um, it, the numbers should be much greater. Think, think of thousands and th tens of thousands of soldiers going door to door every day in a booby trap world, and you see it with your eyes, and you realize that how good they are at their job, how well they defend and protect each other, and and how well trained the boys and girls are over there. That you see that uh, that the numbers should be much greater than it is. Uh, last time you put on a suit. Uh, my grandmother's funeral in a year ago, May. So you're just about like every other guy we know. Mm -hmm. And not putting on a suit unless it's a funeral or a wedding. Yeah, marrying and burying. <laughs> uh, last time... <laughs> that sounds like a town in Michigan. <laughs> last time you had to fork over money to your kids for something that you didn't think they should have. Um... Or you go, what are you spending that money on? My kids aren't very... Uh, they don't have... They're not very decadent. I don't... Um, uh, last time you wanted to punch somebody. Oh, God, that happens about every day. And was Brian O'Connell involved? <laughs> Brian O'Connell. <laughs> Brian O'Connell, yeah, he's... Uh, I don't know what the... I, I don't know. There's About every day I want to smack somebody. There's somebody that needs it, There's somebody that needs it every day. Uh, last time you thought about having an affair. Uh, every time I watch... Uh, 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 sex in the City. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of the four is your girl? You know who my girl is? Always, and, and people have a... Uh, I've got a freak on for uh, uh, Julia Louis-Dreyfus. What? Yeah, she she's always been my favorite. Something... Well, I used to watch Seinfeld all the time, and now she's got the new show. She's just always... Uh, there's just something about her sense of humor. Do you think she's hot? No. Yeah. <laughs> well, Not at all, dude. But you, but you think I'm hot. <laughs> no, I mean, go back to Carrie Bradshaw, man. I mean, you know. <laughs> uh, well, your, your wife, Trish, is like that. She's petite. She's brunette, you uh -huh. know. I mean, you know. I, well, I, I mean, you got you to gotta have somebody that you'd get the green light on. I give her the green light on Elvis. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's dead. dead. <laughs> hottie, she's a hottie. Got a smoking little body. Stray bikini and a barbed wire tag. She's a rockin' that cowboy hat Hottie, she's a hottie And just a little bit naughty Kaya diggy diggy, kaya diggy diggy, yeah, yeah.